This video is to show all the configuration options for RAID buff status. You can access these options by going in the usual way of pressing Escape, Interfaces, Add-on, and then RAID buff status. Or you can right click over the minimap icon. All the options are split into different sections. In the video, I'm slowly going through all of the options so that those who haven't got it installed can watch it and see what, what they are. Anything of particular interest, I'm going to let you know. This particular option is quite useful. What it does is make the dashboard disappear when you enter combat. Rebel status integrates with Pali Power. So what it will do is check what blessings have been allocated, who should be casting them, which players are missing those those blessings, and therefore it knows which paladin is slacking by not casting the blessings that they're allocated. You don't have to use pally power though. What you can do with these RAID status bars is you can have the dashboard not disabled during combat, however have it only showing the bits and pieces you're interested in, such as the RAID status bars. The tank list uses all the normal ways of using tank list, uh, the Blizzard built-in feat ability, the ORA2, uh, x and so on. So it should automatically spot who's a tank. A tank warnings is quite interesting. It's got at least one feature that I'm not aware of other add-ons having, which is the ability to know about taunts to mobs that are attacking me that I'm not tanking. It's also very useful because I can find out whether someone's ninja taunting my a mob, whether it's a non-tank taunting it and so on. CC break warnings is quite useful, but the thing that makes it particularly good in raid buff status is that it knows the difference between a tank and a non-tank, so you can warn when it's a non-tank breaking a, a CC. Misdirection is useful because you can know when misdirection is up and then you can do the pull. Death warnings are quite handy. I generally have that configured so it warns me and plays a, a noise. So I know has a tank died, has a DPS died, has a healer died, all the sounds are different. The food announce options are very handy. What raid buff status will do is if someone places a fish feast, it will do a raid warning so that everyone knows it's gone down. It will do a raid warning when the fish feast is about to expire. And in addition, when it does the, the expire warning, it will automatically whisper everybody who isn't well fed. There's various other options to do with uh, warning about so wells uh, and so on. 